Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Wearing my Solinco rain jacket today because I'm gonna talk about Solinco strings. Uh, one of my favorite string brands, actually, I've used them quite regularly. The Solinco Hyper G Soft has been my go-to string for a while. It's a string I test a lot of rackets with and I also like Torbite Soft. I also like their new Confidential. I've reviewed all these strings on my channel before, but I wanted to talk about some comparisons. What are the different, different characteristics of these strings? Um, they do have the Hyper G, they have the Torbite, and a bunch of other strings in their lineup, but I think the Torbite is kind of the icon, the very control-oriented, quite stiff, but very spin-friendly string. Great in a clash, if uh, that kind of softens it up a little bit, but if you really like control and spin, the Torbite is still a legendary string. Hyper G is a little bit more lively, a little bit more action in the string bed, uh, different, slightly softer feel, but not that much. Still a pretty stiff string. Uh, when you want to reduce stiffness, you should go down in gauge. So you go for a thinner gauge. Uh, that's always my recommendation. You don't need to go 130 gauge unless you're breaking strings all the time. Go for a 120. I mean, there's even 115, 110 gauges in strings these days. I like the 120 or 125, depending on the racket. If I need more durability, I go 125. If I need a little bit more softer feel, a bit more comfort, a bit more depth, I go 120. Durability is usually decreased, but by very small margins. You don't have to worry too much if you go down in gauge. Hyper-G came and, and a lot of players changed to that uh, but it's quite stiff so I really enjoy when they got Hyper-G soft. If you look at the Tennis Warehouse University comparison string comparison tool which I really recommend doing from time to time they list not all gauges which is a little bit of a shame but they have at least a comparison of the Hyper-G and the Hyper-G soft you can compare see how much difference there is in in the stiffness of these strings Hyper-G soft is much softer but you still get similar string potential you still get very good tension maintenance and that's why i prefer the soft string in some open pattern rackets the ball can fly a bit it can be a bit of an issue with launch the string uh, might you know, have not have the best life in a 120 gauge, which is the one I mainly use, but in more closed patterns, it works really well with the Hyper-G Soft. The Torbite Soft, on the other hand, is a little bit deader, not as lively as the Hyper-G Soft, a bit deader. If we would throw Confidential, their new string, into the mix, uh, it's not a super stiff string, but it's stiffer than the soft strings. Uh, we're quite in the middle there, really good tension maintenance, good spin, more of a kind of a control string, similar to Torbite, but softer, uh, not a bit nicer in the feel, a bit more gentle on the arm. Uh, so it's a string I really like, I use it a lot, I use it in their Solinco prototype racket that I'm testing right now. Review to come that looks like this, all white out, this is the 98 version of that. Really enjoying it with Confidential. Hyper-G Soft on the other hand was way too lively for me, died quite quickly, but the, the Confidential works really well in this string bed. So you have to estimate, depending on the racket you use, what style you play with, what string works for you. It's really finding that perfect blend, that's the, that's the challenge here. Uh, for me that play with a flatter game, I like a little bit more control, uh, in the string bed, in my Prestige MP, for example, I, I've tried Solinco Torbite Soft, found that to be a really nice complement. I don't want too much liveliness there, I want that 100% predictability, predictability, and that's uh, better with Torbite Soft than the Hyper G Soft. If you want to lively up the string bed, get a bit more action, Hyper G Soft works well. I've tried that in, for example, the Head Pro Tour 2.0 worked really well with a Hyper G Soft to open up a bit more spin, a bit more liveliness in that dense 1820-95 screen string bed. So that's worked really well. You have to dial these things in and, and play around, experiment a bit. But if you need more control, go for a regular tour by a regular confidential. Uh, Confidential is, in my opinion, a little bit of a better string even than Torbite because I think it has a slightly softer feel, really good control, solid tension maintenance, just a uh, very good string overall. So I'm using that in a little bit more lively rackets, feel very much in control and I'm very happy with it in this 160.19.98. So, um, really good strings from Solinco, quite a selection they have. Uh, some really flagship strings, the Torbite, Hyper-G and Confidential. If you want a softer but you still prefer a poly string, go try the Torbite Soft or the Hyper-G Soft. Hyper-G Soft will be livelier, more action in the string bed, uh, might be flying a bit for some of you. Torbite Soft is a bit deader, 
but drops tension a bit quicker in in my estimation and also when looking at some of the data in the tennis warehouse string comparison uh, but great strings all over i really like these strings i use them regularly uh, these are some of my go-to strings uh, if you're interested in other strings that i use and i like let me know in the comments below what strings do you like do you like solinko strings do you have other brands you prefer let me know that as well and what solinko string is your favorite string uh, we'll get over to the prototype racket review very soon and it's an interesting frame for sure I've been enjoying it over these last couple of weeks uh, that's all for this one have a nice day and don't forget to play sometimes